Let's bring in athletic trainer at Freighter and MCW Sports Medicine Center, Julie Carpenter, to give us advice on how we can safely keep moving during the winter season. And Julie, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, guess what? You're the perfect person to ask this because you're an Olympic trainer, and that means there's no days off. So what can we do to stay active and healthy when it's cold outside? Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, so some of the best things you can do to kind of get yourself moving and keep yourself out there are layer up. I mean, the best thing you can do, put on lots of layers of clothes, help reduce your heat loss and trap some air in between those layers. We want a moisture wicking layer underneath, keep that cotton away from you so you're not keeping moisture right against your skin. A nice insulating middle layer with fleece or wool um, and then a a weatherproof outer layer for wind and water protection. We want to stay hydrated. We want to keep moving. Um, nice dynamic warm up to warm up those cold, cold muscles. Thermal socks, hats, gloves, gaiters to help keep moisturize that air. Footwear with good traction. Avoid that ice so we don't go slipping and sliding all over the place. Still want to protect our skin. So sunscreen is still an important one. Sunglasses, lip balm. Um, and then anything we can do to help kind of keep ourselves warm and monitor our hydration. All great tips, Julie. And I know I'm not alone in saying this. Usually during the winter time, I kind of take an opportunity to stay inside a little bit, slow <laughs> things down because it's cold outside, but you should still remain active. Kind of explain why uh, some of the best reasons you should still exercise during the winter. Well, one of the biggest things we get stuck inside and we, you know, you start to get depressed. You, I, you know, in Wisconsin here, we don't see the sun that much during the winter, so it's really important to get outside and still try to get that vitamin D. Um, you know, and you can get depressed when you're sitting inside all the time and you're not getting outside and kind of living life. So that can, that can be really, really helpful. Um, moving around outside helps us actually burn some more calories so we can turn some of that white fat into calorie burning brown fat. And it can actually help us improve our endurance because our body is working so much harder metabolically by being outside and our hearts are pumping a little bit more and our lungs are working a little bit more. So it can be very beneficial that way. And, and Julie, I think you brought up a great point. It's not just about your physical health. It's about your mental health uh, component too. And you gotta be feeling like you're on cloud nine because you're leaving for the Olympics soon. So tell us what that experience has been like for you. Oh, it's an incredible opportunity. I'm super excited for it. We just had Olympic trials for U.S. speed skating here in Milwaukee, and we're just trying to keep away from COVID at the moment. I've been working with these guys for the last 13 years, and this is my first opportunity to be able to accompany them on their Olympic journey. So it means the absolute world to me to be able to have this opportunity. I'm really excited trying to stay safe, stay active, keep everybody working strong until the end. We are excited for you. And again, this is Olympic athletic trainer Julie Carpenter uh, sharing with us why it's so important to stay active and healthy during the winter season. Thank you for those great tips. And of course, good luck, the best of luck uh, for the upcoming Olympics. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.